All right, guys, we're back in the shop. It is Monday and we got all the parts in for the third gen Noah's truck. Um, so what we uh, kind of tackled on first was getting the exhaust ripped out and then uh, getting it all marked up and cutting it flush with the chop saw. Uh, over here on the table is kind of the parts list. We have a AFE Blade Runner high uh, flow manifold. We have a 36 inch, four inch delete pipe and that will, we're kind of working on that right now. We have all our exhaust, um, brackets and uh, clamps right here and then we have also stainless diesel uh, manifold gaskets we have stainless diesel manifold stud kit we have our turbo flange t3 with our oil drain uh, gasket we have all the hardware right here that needs to go back on we have our we're going to reuse the oil feed uh, we got new v-band clamp we got a brand new uh, bd exhaust um, elbow that will mount to the back of the turbo so this is that smetting uh, drop-in turbo. So we already have the uh, wastegate solenoid harness screwed in. We have the stud kit for the turbo mounting to the flange of the manifold. So that was from BD also. And then we have a new V-band clamp. So that kind of in a nutshell is the exhaust side of a any 03 to 07 59 common rail truck. Um, very simple, very basic. So we're going to, uh, you know, start plugging away on this truck and hopefully tonight we will get a first fire and uh, we'll see how it sounds with the new straight pipe and uh, with a new turbo. So stick around to the end and we'll get it all fired up and buttoned up. The specs on this turbo, it's a 59 millimeter compressor wheel. It's also a 80 millimeter on the uh, turbine wheel. It's fa uh, set to factory uh, wastegate settings, which is 36 PSI, but it is adjustable. So depending on how much boost pressure we want to see we can i wouldn't set it any higher than 40. um it has a billet compressor wheel so upgraded billet wheel right here and uh yeah it just it doesn't have the 230,000 miles on it and it's not blown so it's gonna it's gonna function well and it's gonna do its job and it's gonna get the truck back on the road for some weekend warrior stuff so but that's kind of the basics behind the turbo all right so while lucas and i are down in there that's some of the exhaust getting it all bolted together and installing that delete pipe i'm going to start uh installing the studs into the side of the head so in here you can see we got studs we got 12 of them one for top one for bottom and then they just thread in you thread them in and then you also kind of hold the exhaust uh, manifold gasket through there and then they thread through the uh, gasket and sets everything and holds it therefore you can set the manifold on and call it good all right so it's pretty simple once you get in here i put some uh some anti-seize on the studs and then what you do is you just kind of put this flush against the head the gasket against the head and then you just start the stud through the gasket and then into the head and it'll kind of thread itself on where this won't move so when you go to uh, set the manifold on everything's kind of in line so that's the first one done and then we'll get the next uh five done and then that'll all be ready to set all it is i get this hand tight and then i go you know just maybe uh maybe an eighth of a turn right here just to get it set and then um you have nuts in here that you can just hang the uh, manifold on the stud and then you just put the nut on and then you can torque these to 44 foot pounds so that's the plan right now getting this done while they're down there just messing around with the exhaust honestly that's probably the worst part of the job so far but not the too crazy you just out here hanging out in the engine bay all right so now we got the uh we got the turbo mounted to the manifold uh if you take a look at it right here just uh we got studs and bolts holding it on so one two three and then four we use what came supplied in the uh little turbo flange and stud kit that uh that we bought or noah bought off xdp so we got this all kind of mounted together 
Next thing we need to do is we need to mount the exhaust elbow onto the back of the uh, turbine side of the uh, turbo. And then uh, once we get that done, then we have to mate it up with the exhaust. Um, that's not gonna be the easiest job in the world, uh, but we have everything set inside the, uh, on the side of the head with the manifold gaskets and studs are all good to go. So we can get everything kind of set in here and get it uh, resting on the studs and then we'll line it up and then we'll start torquing her down. But uh, yeah, we're making progress and uh, that's really all that matters. We gotta make some progress tonight. Hopefully we can get it done in the first fire, but uh, yeah, we're chugging along. You think you can put your foot on my valve cover? Yeah, plastic. We got her in there. All we need to do is just torque these down, the uh, manifold uh, nuts that go on the studs. But yeah, she's in there. We need to clock the uh, exhaust elbow to the correct uh, like angle and then match it up to the downpipe. And then we can start putting all the intercooler boots back on. We need to add, we need the uh, oil feed line back on to right here, pre-lube the turbo, and then also get the oil drain on the bottom. Uh, mounted but other than that it's in there um not torqued down but it wasn't too bad had to do a little bit of adjusting on the uh the coolant bracket back here um given that this is an aftermarket manifold but uh so we'll get all this torqued down and then we'll start taking a look at the exhaust um not too many steps left to do other than you know putting everything back together but uh as long as we get everything hooked up then we can we can do a first fire, but uh, yeah, we'll get this uh, all buttoned up and uh, put you back on time lapse. All right, 44. Good. All right, that means that that will stay on. I need a short end nail. Yeah, that will work. And then I'll probably need one with an extension for the back one because I don't have any room. Getting that old turn line mounted to the bottom of the turbo. Give y'all an idea of how much you have to pretty right. much contort yourself to get to these Am I even turning old like return this? line bolts on the bottom of this turbo here. You can see where it goes into the bottom of the block. Those little 10 millimeter bolts. Yeah. Carson, you having fun? Nope.
that adds jelly bean. Perfect. All right, and here's this for that one on the back side. Probably fairly. And then what Ollie likes the um that boot. Yeah. What about the what you call it? All the battery box and the stuff EGR like that? or whatever. EGR? EGT probe. EGT. We're not gonna it we're just gonna let that sit up there. We're gonna tighten those down, torque them to about ugga dugga. Yeah. And then they are brass, so they're soft. When the child comes, we'll pull one out and hopefully have the right probe uh, ferrule for it. Because the ferrule that we have, it doesn't fit, so. We gotta do the, the exhaust clamps on the bottom. Oh yeah. Then it's gonna be a rally old 12 valve if we don't. This is about the last few things you have to button up, but everything is torqued down. We have everything back together. We got all our manifold studs tightened down, torqued down. We got the uh, turbo flange studs torqued down uh, and tightened down. Oil feed off the oil filter housing right there. V-band tight, other V-band is tight. Crawl up under the truck, because y'all haven't seen that yet. Here's the delete pipe that we went with, 36 inches. And you can see it right up under here. So we got our exhaust clamp right there, exhaust clamp right there. So everything is tight under there. So we're making progress. We're gonna stick the uh, the battery boxes back in, the fender lining or the fender well. And then we're gonna leave the uh, air box off so we can see everything fire up, watch for any leaks. Um, and then let it idle and just kind of, you know, get used to its new, uh, newfound pride and joy of go fast parts. And there is a random nut right here. I think that's yours. Oh yeah, take that off. Hmm. So, but yeah, everything was uh, going back together pretty darn smoothly. Um, so it's about a it's about a day and a half job, just depending on you know how much time you have to work. Uh, on it, but nothing too crazy. Just uh, you know, normal exhaust side things on a on a Cummins engine. So we'll get everything buttoned back up. We'll do a first fire, let it uh, get up to operating temperature, and then we'll do a hot retorque on the manifold studs. And then I think from there we'll we'll take a little back road cruise and then see exactly how she does in the new turbo. Um, nothing's changed tuning wise for the truck. Um, we are having to wait to get some uh, EGT probes. That are going to match the threads for the new manifold uh, they're not exactly the uh, exact thread match as what the old one had don't know where those came from so the ports in the new ats high flow manifold um, have their own special thread but we'll get that all buttoned up and we'll go from there Puffing or no? It still sounds quiet. Yeah? I think it's just your truck. <laughs> I don't know. But no, she started up just fine. Looking at the coolant, it did take some coolant because we do have a coolant line running back here. But as far as seeing any signs of leakage or exhaust, uh, gas coming out we don't see anything uh our turbo looks like it's doing good shaft spinning so 
We're just gonna let it sit here and idle for two to three minutes just to get everything to uh, kind of work itself in. Um, straight pipe sounds good. You can hear it back here. So, it's that true 5.9 sound. So, she sounds good. We're not losing any of the exhaust note out the manifold. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll let it sit here for a little bit and idle. Yeah, we started today probably around 5 o'clock uh, this afternoon, 5.30. Uh, and right now it's about 10.30, so an eight dinner between. But, uh, so, yeah, it's a good day. So this will kind of close out this video for all the work and the tear down and the uh, putting the parts back on. We'll do a, uh, a test drive video after this one. Probably be a short video, but, yeah, just some... Uh, just some kind of use some third gen content coming at you you know we got the second gen build we got the uh the mega cap out there but you know buddy has a third gen why not work on it so yeah we'll uh we'll close out this video uh if you have any questions for you know all your third gen guys feel free to comment and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next one